Welcome to this edition of uh, DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm going to take a look at cleaning up the extruder. I'm having a little bit of issue with um, the Fabricator Mini. Uh, see if I can get this in frame. So this is something I printed out. And, and actually, if I kind of hold it up, I'm not sure if you can see that if I hold it up. The light actually shines through this. This is not... Um, Coming out the way it should, the extrusion just isn't pushing the plastic out, it should. So one of the things I want to take a look at here is actually this gear, the, the, the cog gear in the extruder looks like it's um, become a little bit clogged and I don't think it's pushing the plastic through. It might actually be somewhat worn out. So what I want to do is um, take this apart. Now one of the things I'm going to do here is um, probably cheat a little bit. I'm not going to uh, loosen up. Well, yeah, well, I'll loosen this up, this, this spring up. I can do that by hand. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and then I'm going to see about unscrewing this. And for some reason it's one of those simple things that you think is going to be simple it is not so simple because it just seems to be turning but not coming out hmm I think there's a bolt on the other side. I might have to see about dropping this whole motor down because that doesn't seem to. So let me go get a screwdriver and see about dropping the motor down. Okay, I'm going to try. I'm wondering if these two screws, I'm not sure they hold. They're long enough to hold anything down. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe I'll be proven wrong. It's, yeah, it seems to be pretty long. Let's see if the motor drops out. If so, that would be a good thing. But I bet you there's two underneath there somehow. Nope, that doesn't seem to release that motor at all. This one should actually hold the, this, the wheel in place. And I would have thought that one would just screw out, but it doesn't seem to. So I'm trying to get at the, the gear, and the only thing I do when I spin this is the nut seems to, bolt seems to spin, but nothing happens. Um, either way I go, it seems to be the same. Well, interesting. That's not going to work for that. There's actually, looks like a screw down inside there. Maybe if I look at it, it's not even a hex head. All right. Okay, so we have a smaller screwdriver that we can get inside there with. And... Let's see what happens when we remove this. I'm going to kind of cheat and leave that on there. So there is another screw in there. Interesting, there's a whole bunch of um, uh, junk in here that's fallen into the motor section. So actually, I think because I've only got one more screw to remove the whole thing. I'm just going to drop the motor right on out of here. There we go. So now you know how that comes apart. Um, because actually what got me was was this sleeve. I thought this sleeve I've got my 1.5 reading glasses on. Let's see if I get it in the light so you can see. And Normally I wear my 3.0 cheaters but uh, I couldn't tell there wasn't uh, I thought it was a hex or an uh, Allen wrench. But anyways so this screw goes inside there and drops inside. 
So you now know how to take the extruder apart on um, Fabricator Mini. Now, one of the things is, is it's got a lot of, um, I think you can probably see in the bottom of the frame here, a lot of crud built up in there. Now, the gear doesn't look too gummed up. It is gummed up a little bit. It is actually worn a little bit, too. Um, so I'm going to take this off, this gear off of here, and I'm going to see how easy that gear is going to be to get off of there first. Um, it's not that old, so it shouldn't be seized on too bad. If I've got the right size Allen wrench here. I think I'm going to have to get a different size Allen wrench. Okay, so I've got the right Allen wrench this time around. And now since it was pretty in there, it's kind of stuck. I hate that when the Allen wrench gets stuck in there. Uh, I want to make sure I don't lose any of these screws either. All right. So this this is a brass gear, and I'm going to kind of hold it in the light. Uh, maybe turn the light a little bit so I can get it closer. And it's gummed up a little bit. It's actually not bad, but it is actually it is showing signs of wear. So right in here you can see it's, it's full of some red filament that I had in there before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these alcohol pads, uh, pop it out, and try cleaning Let's see if I can get this in frame here because in short what I'm doing is taking my fingernail and running it through each one of these uh, slots and I can tell you this gear is fairly worn uh, I haven't had this fabricator mini too long I don't know maybe let's see it's June I don't know I don't even think six months you know, I've done a fair amount of printing with it, but not that where I would expect, I think, this gear to already be worn. Um, I think this is going to warrant a new gear. I think I'm going to order a new gear for, for this. Uh, alrighty. So I think I've got everything cleaned out, all the residual PLA in there. And this is actually a good idea. I've done this on the Wan Hao a number of times, uh, cleaned out the gear. It gets, um, you know, especially the Wan Hao gets used pretty heavily. Now my Da Vinci's I don't like because, it, I mean, the extruders are really monsters. There's no good way to take those apart without a, you know, Herculean effort. But this actually goes together pretty good. So, and then so what we'll do is we'll try to slide these back on there. I don't think that this is at a tapered shaft at all. So, turned it a little bit. And. Tighten that back on there, because also this was these were these were pretty tight. Unlike when I did the one how one ho one how. I guess it's one something. This one's a little bit. So I think that's pretty good. So let's go ahead and, and we'll put this stick this back up here and see how all this goes back together So we're just putting the screws back in. Remount all of this. I 
and it looks like it's making I just checking to see how where this is riding on on the uh, filament I'm actually going to raise this up a little bit more um, I'm going to see if I can actually this is about where it was before What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to, uh, thinking about it, what I'm going to do, and who knows if this will work, is I want to raise this up a little bit so it's not hitting where it was hitting before. So it's riding on a little bit of new, kind of new teeth or on the edge of where it was before, where it was worn before. So that looks... I might make it... Again, this could stand... Uh, I think I'm definitely going to order an upgraded gear. All right. However, I'm also thinking about selling this. I've got so many 3D printers right now that uh, so I've actually got a tarantula coming that I'm going to turn into a mini G Max. So I've ordered it. It hasn't come yet, but I've also ordered a bunch of new Maker Rail to uh, or open build rail whatever the heck it's called to, to extend it that one seems to be a little bit stripped in there but that'll work alrighty so now we gotta put this back together and we just need to make sure we don't lose all the pieces um, hmm that's interesting the way that this looks is they just simply use uh, a hex nut on here. Am I getting everything in framing? I think so. A hex nut on here to go in the spring and for the um, other nut to kind of push on it. So, um, yeah, that's kind of wanky. But I guess, you know, what do you get for 200 bucks? And there's just another screw down here kind of holding the thing in place for the spring for moving at the other end. So, this little screw, so it's not the I think most elaborate extruder there ever was made. Yeah, sorry, I bumped you guys. So let's see, let's put this one up. Let's see if I can't get this up. There we go. We got that in there. And then now we'll just take our, what I thought was an Allen with a screw in it and put that back in here. And so we got this. Although that doesn't seem to be going into where it's well it's sort of going into where it's supposed to so it took a little finessing to get this back in but I got it back in and everything seems to be back together I've got some uh, pretty good tension against this so um, hopefully I won't have any drive problems I'm gonna I really have never calibrated the um, filament on this machine. Again, I pretty much just purchased it, set it down on the desk, built the Octoprint base and stuff for it, and have been using it to print ever since. Um, really haven't had too much trouble with it. Uh, I did have the nozzle. I didn't use it for about a month, and I had the nozzle down here get clogged up. Um, and I had to clean that out with some drills, and I might actually do a video on cleaning that out too. Uh, but anyways... Um, hopefully this this fixes the problem because again this is kind of wanky so I did one and it came out pretty good and I did the second one then all the other ones started coming out really thin walled and, and wanky like this one so hopefully this fixes it so I'm gonna give it a shot but now you can see how, how the extruder goes together and what you got to do if you've got to take it apart to clean it or adjust it that's how it's done so hey if you found this video interesting give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel Got comments? Let me know below, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.
Click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.